With Ukraine and energy dominating Ursula von der Leyen's State of the Union address, Euronews asked the European Commission president about the possibility of a price cap on gas and when consumers could expect to receive the benefits of one. We should never forget um, Putin is using gas as a weapon and therefore we are in this energy crisis. We've done already a lot as a European Union um, and this has cushioned a lot of the effects. For example, the joint storage, we are at 84% now. This is very good. And we have diversified away from Russia towards reliable suppliers like Norway or the United States. You can see that in two figures. At uh, the beginning of the war, the imported from the imported gas, 40% was Russian gas. Today we're down to 9%. So there has been a drastic decrease of Russian gas and we have compensated that by other suppliers. Now, the step we're doing now is um, giving the member states the financial firepower to targetly support the vulnerable households and the vulnerable businesses. Um, so this is the next step that is on the table of Council and Parliament right now. And we are discussing indeed uh, the work on price caps in so far as uh, that we look at what can we do to lower the gas price. Mm. With Russia, a completely unreliable supply, the things are clear. But um, with friends like, for example, our Norwegian friends, it is good. We have started uh, to negotiate and to discuss how we can have the common approach to stable lower gas prices because they de um, define so much the electricity market. And last but not least, the big reform of the electricity market is the next step to come. We have the experience of an enormous European solidarity. What we see is, for example, that all member states agreed to have a common storage. Um, we want it to be in October at 80% storage filled. But we're much better because all work together, so that's solidarity. We're at 84% already right now. So that will help us to go through a safe winter. We see an enormous solidarity in so far that the gas that we get now from reliable suppliers like the United States or Norway is flowing where it is needed. And we've all understood that we have worked together in this energy crisis because the more we give as solidarity, the more we have a stable situation within the European Union and every member state benefits from that. And is it going to be in time? Because it was the same question. Is it not going to be late? So now on the table of the Council and the Parliament is the proposal how to give financial firepower to uh, the member states, the governments, uh, so that they can support the vulnerable households and vulnerable businesses. It's round about 140 billion euros that will be invested in that.